Today, Anthony is taking us on a journey. This is one crucial key that I think a lot of us, a lot of us could really learn that will make us more money. It's how to say no more and yes less. Your yeses need to become super expensive and your no's are super cheap. There's not a day that I do not go by that I do not look at my budget, that I do not look at my bank account. Before I spend any of my money, I look at my budget. Before I even make any decision about life, I'm looking at the vision moving forward. And does this take me closer to the vision? Or does it take me to the right of the vision? Or to the left of the vision? Or does it put me in a full, complete stop to where I cannot progress forward? Now, before we hop into today's show, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Now let's jump into the video. Yo, so today's show, man, we're gonna talk about things that I've learned from millionaires that have helped me make millions in my 30s, right? And one of those things that I really learned from my good friend, Torrey Roberts, is really how to balance your yes and your no's, really how to balance like your life, your work, your entrepreneurship role, and your personal life. And what I've learned is, this is one crucial key that I think a lot of us, a lot of us could really learn that will make us more money is how to say no more and yes less, right? How to say no a lot more and yes less. Your yeses need to become super expensive and your no's are super cheap, you know? And, and what I used to do, I used to say yes to everything. I would say yes to every speaking engagement. If they only gave me a thousand dollars, Murfreesboro, Tennessee University, then they only give me a thousand dollars. That's why I said yes. Uh, I used to say yes to 15 engagements a month. And what that did is it, I was exchanging my time for money rather than exchanging my time for things that actually brought more value into my life, like reading, like spending time with mentors, like going to conferences and getting self-education to where I'm not speaking, to where I can just sit there and get fed to even watch this, even spending time with my team, just getting to know them and building our relationships even better so we can work even better as a team to better serve you. Another thing I said yes to often that cost me a lot of money was relationships. Relationships that was taking money away, taking my attention away from doing things. Watch this. That will benefit you. That will position me to best serve you. Man, I used to date so many ladies that I believe today, they're probably great ladies, right? They're just, they weren't my great lady back then. And I was saying no to things that would probably bring me money, bring me healthier relationships, bring me sound advice. I was saying no to going to conferences that would feed me. And, and I really want to speak about that. <laughs> I remember working in network marketing and and network marketing, every single week, we would have to go to like a meeting and it'll be a motivational meeting and it'll be a sales meeting. And then like every six months, it was a big conference meeting we would go to. And I never would go to those conferences because I was like, yo, I can spend that money, save that money and use that to go make more money. When I didn't realize that if I spent the thousand dollars to go to the conference to get fed, I would actually leave that conference encouraged, inspired, motivated. I got the energy to go harder. And just recently, I went to a leadership conference held by Torrey Roberts. Specifically went, didn't even tell him I was going. I said, you know what? I want to pay my money to go. I want to sow into myself. I don't want to speak. I didn't want to be seen. And I just want to sit there on the front row with my notepad, taking notes. Because if I'm going to want, if I'm going to have more money, I got to have someone sewing into me. I got to grow my leadership. I got to grow my mind because my company can't grow. My influence can't grow. My impact can't grow. Your company, your influence, your impact, your family, your relationships cannot grow if you're not growing yourself. So I said no to making money on that past weekend and said yes to spending money 
so that I can grow. Because a thousand dollars, I ain't making a thousand dollars when I speak. Hold up. But whatever my honorarium is to speak, <laughs> that's one time. My growth will fund me for the rest of my life. My growth will put me in rooms and doors that my check cannot get me into. So what am I saying? If you want to grow, if, if, if you really want to build wealth, let's say you're making 50000 and you want to make 100000 Let's say you're making 100000 and you want to make a quarter million. Let's say you're at a quarter million, you want to cross over to a half, then everyone's goal is to get to a million. If you want to get there, I want you to write on a sheet of paper everything that you're saying yes to and everything that you've said no to. And I want you to evaluate, does your yeses need more no's and do some of your no's need to be yeses? This is called writing it on paper, seeing it on paper. What am I saying yes to? That's pulling away from my attention and from my growth and make those no's. Some of the people you're dating need to go to the no side. Some of the jobs you're working needs to go to the no side. You could be a freelancer right now. Some of the side jobs you're doing need to have no's. Working 24-7, having this grind hustle mentality is stupid. It is dumb. You need time to grow. You need time to build your relationships. First thing I've learned that we're going to talk about today on this show. When it comes to how I've been able to position myself where I am today. I had to learn to say no a whole lot more. Whew. I said yes today, though. I can't wait to talk to these kids. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, fam, quick question, and we'll get right back to the show. Are you tired of worrying about your money? Are you tired of hidden fees and long waiting times for your paycheck? Look no further. You see, with my friends at Chime, the number one most loved online banking app, you can say goodbye to all of that and say hello to stress-free finances. You know, with Chime, you get paid up to two days early. That means no more waiting around for your paycheck, no more worrying about unexpected fees like some of these other banks and no more credit checks or large security deposits chime is all about providing you with the financial freedom we all deserve don't take my word for it i want you to try chime out today and see for yourself why it's so loved by many of our friends visit anthonyoneal.com forward slash chime or click the link in today's show notes to get started and take control of your finances speaking of your finances let's get back to today's show that's helping you peace out You know, when I got onto the campus here of MTSU and it made me really think about like, wow, to sustain that loan, right? You really got to know why you are doing the things that you're doing. Like, why was MTSU created? There is a purpose. There is a reason. Uh, there's an assignment. And, and I want to ask you this question. Why are you doing the things that you're doing right now? And one of the things that I've learned that has helped me in my 30s uh, make millions of dollars thus far, right, is that I've really had to understand what is my why? Like, literally, why am I doing the things that I'm doing? Because it's my why that's going to get me through the hard seasons. It is your why that's going to push through, make you push through when you feel like giving up, right? You can't be around for 200 plus years. Your vision should not end when you die. Your vision should continue going and going and going. Who started this school is not here today. Can't be, right? And so for me, what I've learned with my organization, the Neatness Network, and I've learned that, you know what? I want this to go past me. I want people to have a neat life, neat when it comes to their money, neat when it comes to relationships, a neat relationship with God. I want people to have a neat experience. That's my why. I get up every single day to help you, to help people have a neat experience in life. I want you to experience health, wealth, and joy. My why gets me out of the bed when I don't want to get out of the bed. My why helps me to tell people no when I really don't want to tell them no sometimes. But it doesn't align with my why. My why tells them no. My why pushes me into the gym when I'm lazy and I do not feel like going to the gym. My why 
pushes me harder than anything. If you don't have a why, you are not going to experience the wealth that you have. Mark Zuckerberg wanted everyone to have access to something on the internet, to have uh, some level of experience on the internet. Apple really wants you to have um, computer access and have a different experience than Microsoft. What is your why? Or Darius Daniel says, if your why doesn't make you cry, then the price of commitment will make you cry. And the reason why you haven't been able to make 100000 or 150000 the reason why you haven't gotten that pay raise yet, the reason why you haven't gotten that uh, job promotion yet, the reason why you haven't started that business, the reason why your business started and it failed, the reason why you're not where you want to go today, because I promise you, your why is not deep enough to make you cry, to make you emotional, and to give you the fuel that you need. I want to encourage you today. I want to encourage you today. I'm going to say it one more time. I want to encourage you today to sit down and to really write down your why. I'm not talking about your vision. I'm talking about your why. Why do you want this? Why do you want to be debt free? Why do you want to be wealthy? Why do you want to make six figures a year? Why do you want to start that business? And ask yourself, keep going, keep going deep, deep, deep. And your why should be bigger than you. Dr. King, who is uh, one of the professors here who is hosting me today. She said she's been here for 23 years, going to retire in four. So, I mean, she'll be, what, four, five, six, seven, 27 years at this one spot. That was started 200 years ago. I pray that when I'm long gone, my company can celebrate 200 years. My company can celebrate 300 years. Because my why is so deep that it's for you. Watch this. It's not just for you. It's for your kids. It's not just for your kids and yourself, but it's for yourself, your kids, and your kids' kids. If your why doesn't make you cry, sorry, you're not gonna get to where you wanna go. All right, I gotta get back in here. It's time to talk to these high school students and uh, encourage them. It's so funny. The high school students here that we're about to talk to um, I think about 30% of them have no papers. So they can't even borrow money. But they're getting education. They can't get faster, right? So I got to go in here and give them words of encouragement and two practical steps on how they can get through college. Because they can't borrow no money. <laughs> I like that. Let's get to work. Studies are showing nearly right now, currently in the year 2023, that nearly 70% of people live in paycheck to paycheck. When you dive deeper into the study, study reveals that out of that 70%, a large portion of those are people who make over six figures. These are people who are living paycheck to paycheck because of inflation, because of job loss. But a lot of people say, man, we have an income problem. And here's, here's the truth. We don't really have an income problem. We have a lack of utilizing our gifts and skills problem. You have the skills, you have the talents that God put on inside of you. And I want to ask you this question. I want you to be very honest. Are you utilizing them correctly? Or are you just going to work, getting that check, coming home, and not really utilizing your gifts and skills to build wealth to pay off debt? Well, listen, I am hosting a free, a 100% free masterclass here with the next few days. And I'm teaching people how to build a personal brand, how to use the gifts and the skills that God put on the inside of you and turn that into an extra thousand to $5,000 a month to go towards paying off debt, to go towards, you know, building an emergency fund, to go towards building a dream home. But I'm going to go even a step further. What if you can use the same principles I'm going to be teaching for free? You make an extra 1000 to 5000 but what happens if you could turn it into a six figure income or maybe a seven figure income within the next couple of years. Well, if you are ready to take control of your money, if you're ready, ready to utilize the gifts and the skills God has given you to build a legacy, to build wealth for yourself, can you meet me? I want you to go to anthonyoneal.com forward slash save my seat. Again, that is anthonyoneal.com forward slash save my seat. Or you can click the link in today's show notes. It's 100% free. Come join me. Let me show you. Let me show you how we, my team and I, build a seven-figure brand and how we can put a thousand dollars in your pocket for the next 30 to 60 days i'll see you soon you know so man i just got done speaking to a group of amazing kids here right um about 90 kids came to mtsu to sit down and learn about financial education and one of them asked me hey how did you go from homeless to where you are today and i thought that was just a brilliant question that this young kid and 
there's there's like two things that that I told him that I, I want to tell to you all directly. Uh, I got out of my homeless, which is this is something that has helped me make millions and not just watch it. Watch this. Not just make millions, but keep some of the millions that I've made that will eventually make me more millions. And that's by literally having a plan for my money. Like you got to have a plan. You got to have a budget for your money. Y'all hear me talk about budgeting all the time. You hear me talking about visions and plans all the time, but I really want you to hear me clearly. Uh, there's not a day that I do not go by that I do not look at my budget, that I do not look at my bank account. Before I spend any of my money, I look at my budget. Before I even make any decision about life, I'm looking at the vision moving forward. And does this take me closer to the vision or does it take me to the right of the vision or to the left of the vision or does it put me in a full complete stop to where I cannot progress forward? And if you're going to really win with money, if you're going to uh, really make millions, one of the best ways I've been able to make millions in my 30s was by honestly having a plan, which is going into number four, right, in a strategy. Mm, I got to hurry up because I got some adults out there waiting on me to talk right now. Um, you got to have a plan and your plan needs to complement and match the strategy. So many of us saying, hey, you know what? I want to make a million dollars. So many of us saying, hey, you know what? I want to make six figures. So many of us are saying, I want to go to school. I want to go to college. I want to pay off my debt. Um, I, I want to start a business. But you have no strategy. You have an idea with no execution. i said one more time. You have an idea with no execution. No execution means no manifestation. So all you do and all you have is just a dream. You dreamed about it. But once you have the dream, once you have the vision, you need to sit down and come up with what is the strategy that you're going to put into place that is going to help you get there? What's the strategy to get out of debt? I actually gave you a strategy uh, with my free ebook, which we will drop in today's show notes. Um, I give you the strategy. It's a 40 page free ebook that gives you the strategy on how to get out of debt. What's the strategy on building a personal brand? I give you this like every other week in my um, personal, um, you know, webinars that I'll be doing for you. I'm giving you the four steps on how to build a personal brand that can make you six figures. What's the strategy if you want to build wealth? I'm, I'm talking about this every single week on my YouTube channel. We have to stop going into things just guessing and say, oh, I'm just going to let things flow and let things happen. Hell no. I said it. Everything that I do now, what is your strategy? What is your strategy and how does that complement, right? Does it match my budget, my plan for my money? If I say my strategy is or my vision um, is to, uh, I'll, I'll say this, yeah, my vision is that by 2055, my company is making at least $10 million on a consistent basis or more a year, eight figures. Today is 2023. I am sitting here looking down and I'm looking and I have people around me, right? Who's giving me, okay, if you want to hit 10 million, if you watch the show with Donald Miller, no, six steps to build a million dollar business, right? And he gave us a strategy. If you really want to build a million dollar business, you need to have three streams of income inside of your business, okay? So if I want to build an eight figure business, I need to have at least minimum three to be seven, but you're going to have to add at least two more, five different streams of income. I have one stream of income, which is my actual show that you're watching because I get Google AdSense from that. I get um, uh, brand deals for that, right? Then I have another stream, which is our membership academy that we're serving you all at a very phenomenal uh affordable rate, right? Uh, that's one stream of income. Then I have another stream of income, my speaking engagements. Um, but then we have another stream of income. I'm about to come out with a book, right? So we're adding different streams of income to the business. Once you have that, this is the plan. Now we just put a strategy in place for all these things. And you just work the strategy. Uh, Tore Roberts said something that was so good um, a, few, a few days ago. I was at his conference, um, his call to leaders conference, and he said something that just really shifted me. And this is literally going to help me make even more money. And I want to I give you this. The absence of structure brings more stress. So when you have stress, it honestly shows that you have and you're lacking st uh, structure. 
So you don't have structure. You're lacking structure. So if you're saying, you know what, why do I not, why am I not accomplishing some of the things that I'm accomplishing? I have this great idea and I'm even working, right? Well, the, there's, there's, there's some questions you can ask yourself. Number one, do you have the correct strategy? If you have the right strate- strategy, do you have the right structure? And even myself, even at this level of my business, I have the right structure. And I don't have the right structure. I have the right strategy. But I am stressed a little bit. I told this to my team. Like, hey, y'all, there's, I'm starting to feel a little stress. I get it. We need to hire this person to help us out. Once we hire that person, we need to put a little bit more structure in place so that way all of us are, not stru- uh, are stressed once we have structure in place. So today we've talked about those four main things. I'm about to get back in here and, and holler at some of these uh, young adults here at the college campus this morning, which is absolutely amazing, talking to this younger generation about money. Man, I met um, young kids, young kids who uh, unfortunately don't have papers. They came from out of the country. I forgot where they came from through a Christian organization. Um, and because they came through a Christian organization, they don't have a social security number. They don't have that stuff. They could still be here through this program, but they can't get fast food. They, 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 there are certain things that they cannot qualify. And just to hear them and see their hearts and like, yo, I want to get the education. How do I do that? I was able to encourage them. And so I'm just really excited about what MTSU is doing here on this beautiful campus here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. And now I'm about to get back in here and talk to the young adults, college students and some of the adults. So uh, keep that in mind, you guys. One of the reasons why I'm able to build the wealth that I'm building today and, and how I would get to where I'm going to tomorrow is that I, I literally have a plan for my money. I have a budget for my money. I have no problem budgeting my money, but I also have a strategy that provides structure for my wealth building. Let me go. Holler at these kids. I mean, not kids, young adults real quick. All right.